Hi everyone, Sarah here. Today I wanted to answer a question and I, I wanted to uh, take it a little bit further than I did. I was asked a question on an old video that I have about narcissistic harems and narcissistic harems explained. And a really, really good question was asked. Uh, now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I don't talk as much about narcissistic abuse anymore uh, because of the power that it has. The power that going through something like that has is the power for us to connect with what we desire to change within ourselves. When you've experienced narcissistic abuse, if you are anyone who is on this evolution and this journey, you realize there are things within you that you desire to change about yourself so that that version of you who found yourself in that situation becomes a, a different you so that you can embody and embrace different characteristics and different qualities that better serve the future you, that better serve the you that no longer sees the red flags and thinks, oh, a parade, what's going on over there? Let me go check it out. Let me stay there when it's not good for me, when it's actually harming me more than it's helping me. So going through an experience like narcissistic abuse, whether it's from parents or from partners, there are things impacted and affected within you. And when you're at that place, when you find yourself at a crossroads of understanding that you now embody and embrace and hold on to specific and certain beliefs about yourselves, and if those particular beliefs continue to lead you down a path that's more of chaos and destruction and more towards those who are in your world that continue to destroy your world and you realize, wow, this is a mirror reflection of my inner world. My inner world is chaotic, is destructive. It feels like it's destroyed. That was the beautiful experience that I had with a narcissist in my past and in my life. And it led me to that crossroads where I had the opportunity to choose to go down a different path. But it was almost like I was trying to go down that path for so long, but I didn't have a roadmap. And it was like I was lost trying to explore it on my own. And, and there's a lot of fear in that exploration of the unknown on your own because of this, because of the harem. So the most basic and simple explanation and version of this and this very, you know, much older video that I had, uh, I apologize for the quality of it now, if you find that you go check it out later, <laughs> was narcissistic harem explained. And the question was, does it make me a narcissist for wanting a harem or being open to having a harem? Here's what a harem is. A harem is a community. A harem is a posse, a posse, a community, a group of people. And in the narcissistic world, there's a narcissistic harem and those people are called flying monkeys and those people are out to hurt you and, and try and destroy you and receive information from you or about you and go back and give it to the narcissist so that they can use it to further hurt you. And you get caught up in this nasty web and mix of all of that manipulation, the gaslighting, the emotional abuse. And in that, you get caught up in that within yourself. If you haven't yet checked out my free masterclass, we go into the archetypes of the emotionally abused. And one of them is the gaslighter. You are gaslit and then you become your greatest gaslighter. You become the one that's stuck inside your mind of questioning and doubting and, and second guessing and reflecting on things and, and wishing and hoping that you would have done this or said this and then that would have been better. Who knows? Who knows if that's true or not? But are you a narcissist for wanting a harem? All a harem is, is a group and a community. We all need groups. We all need community. We are internally programmed and hardwired to find connection and avoid rejection. And that is the very definition of trauma bond. We find connection to other people's traumas. When you get into the world of a narcissist, you find connection with them. You become a part of their community, their group, their harem. And that's the thing, it's it can get kind of confusing and messy because we all want and need a harem. If you leave a baby alone without touch, without support, 
it won't survive. It won't make it. Babies who don't have love. Uh, you uh, you look at babies who are born uh, on, on drugs because their mothers were, make, were making certain choices when they were in their womb. It, they can have all the odds stacked against them. Like very, 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 very little chance of survival. And if that baby simply receives connection, touch, love, a harem, people who, who give it what it needs. We need love. We need connection. We need physical touch. And that's what you receive as part of this harem. You receive connection. You, re you receive the exchange of energy. That very thing, even if you don't have all the other things, is what keeps you alive. It's what allows you to survive. So we all need harems. We all need communities. We all need groups of people to survive. So does it make me a narcissist for wanting a harem? No, because if that were true, we'd all be narcissists. We would all be narcissists because we all want community. We all want connection. We all want support. We all want groups. We all want to belong to that group, to feel like we fit into that group. And if that's the definition of a harem, it's a community, it's a group, an organization of people, people that you feel you belong with, you're a part of, that they've got your back, that they support you. If that's what a harem is, does it make you a narcissist for wanting a harem? No. We all want harems. We all need harems. We all need community support, connection, groups. We all need to feel that we belong. We all want and need to feel like we're connected to something that's bigger than ourselves. It's outside of ourselves. It becomes dangerous when we do it for the wrong reasons, when we're doing it from a place of our own self-worth and self-lack. And we need that for external validation because we don't have or believe that we're worthy of receiving that internal validation, that we are enough without it. But we all want it and we all need it. We're being open to having a harem. Even those who say they're not open to having a harem, that, that they prefer to be alone are lying to themselves. There are definitely points along our journey where, where that is what refills our cup, where that is what restores us, is an opportunity and space to be alone without all that, <laughs> all that noise that's out there, where being alone resets us. But if we're alone for too long or we we're alone forever or we believe that we don't deserve to be with others or we find it difficult, we don't feel that we fit in and we belong anywhere and because of that we're alone and we self-isolate, we're never actually alone. We're always with ourselves. We're always with our thoughts. We're always with our, our mind, our head. And so many of us fall into the characteristics of the other archetypes that I talk about in my free training and master class, the stuffer and bottler. We don't like that feeling. We don't like that inner voice. We don't like the feelings that we have when we hear it, when we believe it, when it says you don't deserve to have a community, a group. No one loves you. No one supports you. You're going to be alone forever. And we want to numb it out. We want to drown it out. We want to cancel it out. And so we'll we'll stuff and we'll bottle all our feelings and we'll use things, substances, other things outside of us. We'll use socially appropriate things, alcohol, drinks, pills, food, to stuff and bottle and run and numb, as I call it. Because we all want and need a harem. And if you were a narcissist for wanting or desiring a harem, we'd all be narcissists. Because it is that very thing that we feel. We matter, we fit in, we belong, we're connected, we receive love, we receive this exchange of energy, we receive this feeling like, wow, I really do matter. Wow, you know, this, this these people would notice if I wasn't here and that feels really good because uh, it does matter that I am here. At least I want to know and feel and believe that it does. And, and we do, and we receive that exchange of energy through a harem or through a group or through a community. And that does not make you a narcissist. There are other characteristics that define a narcissist, but desiring a harem or wanting a harem or having your own or being part of one does not make you a narcissist. It's what happens within, right? It's what's happening within you. What is the reason why you're why you're doing the things that you do? Are you doing it because you lack belief in yourself? Because you lack faith in yourself and, and a knowing in yourself that you are enough and that you don't need to try and manipulate or pretend that you're something that you're not within that harem? And I go into that as the archetypes as well, the P me and the F me. Are you pretending 
Are you trying to get other people to, to look at you and think and believe that you're perfect and you've got it all together? Are you faking it? Are you afraid to show up in those harems and in those communities, in those groups and, and be your true self, your real self? Or are you being this, this other version of yourself because you want them to believe that that is who you are and then you feel afraid that you can never reveal the truth about who you are, goofy, <laughs> imperfect. And you're keeping those secrets and those things in the shadows and the closets and you're like, no, 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 that's not me, I'm, I'm perfect, look. Everything in my life is together, everything's fine, everything's good, no problems here, nothing to see. So who are you being in the harem? A narcissist is someone who is extremely, extremely insecure, who needs to manipulate people, who needs to triangulate them and gaslight them, get them to question themselves and their own reality. And if that's not who you are, you're not a narcissist for wanting a harem. We all want and need harems. Harems are incredibly beneficial when we when we are part of a group and we have support and people who who encourage us and believe in us and people we can go to. That's part of our evolution and our and our journey to healing. So no. <laughs> Long answer to your question. You're not a narcissist for wanting a harem, but if you find that you you're sitting with these questions and you're you're wondering about your part and who you are and the truth about who you are because you feel or, or you believe that you've lived these lies and you're you're really on this quest and this journey to discovering the truth about who you are and getting getting really crystal clear on what that is and getting rid of that gaslighting mind that the mind that just is so filled and riddled with worry and anxiety and constant chaos and struggle because of the gaslighting because of questions like that am i a narcissist for wanting to hear them and you're really ready to get crystal clear on who you are and 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 what you stand for and the truth about you instead of the lies that perhaps others have have had you buy into believing perhaps past narcissists in your life, perhaps other relationships in your life where the emotional connection that you wanted wasn't available to you and, and you were desperate for it and you needed it. And you're ready to get crystal clear on who you are and no longer believe the lies or believe that there's anything wrong with you at all for the way that you are. I invite you to join us. I invite you to going on that journey to transforming that pain into present power so that you become crystal clear on the answers to those questions and you you feel where it lands for you and, and you continue to move and go and change and evolve until it lands in a place that feels like the truth about you, until it lands in a place that truly grounds you instead of a place where you feel like, I don't know, I'm gonna like floating out there and totally disconnected from this. I don't like that. Because that's exactly what we've done inside our transforming past pain to present power. We've created a harem. We've created a, a group and an incredibly empowering and supportive community, a safe place to explore and navigate through those questions and, and experience where they land for you and continue to do so until they land in a place that feels so wonderful and powerful and grounding for you. So that's what you can expect inside that program. I, as I mentioned before, I do have a free masterclass that dives into what you can expect. If that is something that you're looking for, if you're if you're ready and you find that you're on this journey to evolution and growth from having had past narcissistic relationships, either parents or partners, whoever it was in your life. So wanted to share that with you guys today. Thank you. Mwah. Sending you so much love and I will see you very soon.